You're watching NBC3 News at 530. Many Americans are still waiting for their tax refunds. The IRS is holding 29 million, 29 million tax returns for manual processing. The independent division of the agency says there's a backlog of unprocessed 2019 paper tax returns because the IRS closed its offices during the pandemic. United Airlines preparing for a busy summer of travel. Starting in June, United will restart 16 flight routes and add more than 480 daily U.S. flights plus nine new routes. This would be the airline's largest flight schedule since before the pandemic began. Earlier this month, the CDC said fully vaccinated Americans are at low risk of catching COVID-19 if they travel within the U.S. Apple is increasing its investment in manufacturing in the U.S. to $430 billion. That's $80 billion more than its original investment. The tech giant says the money will be used to build new facilities and create 20,000 new jobs over the next five years. Apple also plans to support new technology like 5G and artificial intelligence. An Oklahoma woman found out she was charged with a felony for not returning a VHS tape back in 1999. Karen McBride learned about the charge after trying to change her last name when she got married. Now, the tape in question, Sabrina, the teenage witch, I and the movie rental location, as you might guess, as they all have, it went out of business in 2008. Well, the charges have since been dropped after <laughs> McBride's story was aired on local TV. Maybe she streamed it on Netflix this weekend just yeah. to reminisce. I still have my Blockbuster card. <laughs> In a box. What are you doing? From my it? old room. Yeah. You use it for identity to get into <laughs> places where they ask you for ID? Well, my kids don't even understand what Blockbuster no. is. So no, they go. wouldn't. Still to come on NBC3 News at 530, President Biden will address Congress for the first time this week. What the president has in store is he nears 100 days in office. Sydney? Well, lots of sunshine to start out the week, but we're looking ahead to warmer temperatures. How long will that stick around? I'll the timeline next.